Good morning, I love stocks. Today I got my music making hat on, and we're going to talk about some music that was made yesterday. We had some real nice stocks going on. It looked to me like when I went to sleep, the market was still running. Woke up to a real nice breakout this morning pre-market as the indices see, as you can see right here. So we're going to go ahead and put that on down right now and start looking at some stocks. You know I talk about keeping a good watch list. So here we are with my EV watch list again today. I'm telling you, this is going to be the market maker of next year. I'm going to watch this like a hawk, or I would say three black crows sometimes. So let's go ahead and take a good look. I want to pull up Blink first. Blink had a real good run yesterday. Let's add Blink on here, B-L-N-K. Don't blink. And I do have my good luck cowboy hat on today that makes music for me. We've got a couple support levels. I always like to talk about the previous highs on the next day. So we're on blink right now. Had a pretty nice little pop after hours. Let's go ahead and draw a support line right here at 3460. And then another one right down here, right around this area in here. You can see where we had that peak right in here. And then we had that touchdown right in here. So that's kind of going to be our support channel that we're going to play around with today. And then we're going to draw our first one right in here. These will be our first ones with this one down here being the most critical one that we need to hold on blink. So let's keep that in mind. And that will be 32.52. And resistance to break today is going to be that $38 area. What a great run on this. So our first one, 36.20, 34.60, and 32.52. Remember, Centron came out here and bashed us yesterday. So it could have a little bit of volatility that could cause this stock to go back down here to 32.52 and bounce back up for a strong buy. Blink. Let's think of a couple others here on the top of my head. I got these more or less. Look at Tesla. What did Tesla do yesterday? We had that nice little breakout. And look at here. 532.34. Pullback support's going to be right down around in there. So let's put another one right here. Let's call this area here critical support area with a low bottom, no lower than that 515. We'll chalk that in there for Tesla. Had a beautiful little run. I can't see it going no lower than that. Then maybe right up in here where we had the double top. So that's going to be your first solid support. We're going to chalk that up with a red line too. I'm just kind of glancing at them how I'm going to look at them today pre-market. This is a pre-market list. Let's keep it in this channel, no lower than that. If it does dip down in knife, you can see a little bit of action when it follows the trend. Just wait for a for an indicator for the this one here was this double bottom. It pulled right back to it. I'll be watching this on the daily uh, SMA one minute daily, and also be watching it on the my EMA charts, looking at the 200 here on the one minute. So each one of them will have the 200 on it, <clears throat> and I'll be watching them both. Check it out. So low support, 515. First one right here, right around 525. If that can hold, it's about a $5 dip, and it can retrace back up for a double top. This one here is going to go to 547, maybe 600, before the balloon burst, and then pull back to about 550. So this is going to... this. Keeps raising the bar, but it's very volatile. It's fun to trade. Jump in on it. Jump out. Keep a long position, which I have right now. And that is Tesla. Next one we're going to look at is, let's see what else we got on the top of my list here. Look at the EV car watch list section. Let's look at Snap. Miss Vegas has been fired up on Snap. We did have a nice little breakout pre-market to 47.27, so we want to kind of keep that high up here. Let's draw one resistance at 47.07 to uh, maybe 47.21. We'll have that as a little resistance bar, and then another one right here where we had that double top, and it failed, pulled on back to support, which I had on here, and I could probably show that up on a previous chart. So let's pull up the 20-day. This is Snap. trying to figure out what we got going on here I like to look at these charts we got a real strong support at this high right here at 4369 
Let's go ahead and chalk that in for the red one here. Now I'll know I have a reason that I like that so much. I'll make it a little bit thicker because it's a solid little spot. You know, I could raise that up and put my alert at 43.79, which I am going to do right now. 43.80 sounds good. Set at the ask and above, below, and created. Now I have a little alert set just in case. Then I'm going to set another, and then I'll have another little alert right in here. So I want to test that as a red line too. I'm looking for little places of support. That'd be a strong buy at 44.64. And then the next one, see we had this double top. That's going to be like a double top resistance. And that's what we're going to call a hard resistance right there. And we'll put that into a red line. And I'll make that three because I want to make sure that I know that that's a double top that we had right back here about 20 days ago. And that's right at 46.49. So here we are. We're sitting here in between the pivot point. And then we got another little support level right in here. Resistance level. I want to chalk this up right in here. 45.75 bring us up to the daily one minute that's how we're going to look at the trade i got a strong buy at 43.80 that uh, solid third supports right down here at 44.64 for a strong buy to bring it back up to the pivot point and then yesterday's pivot point in the chart looks to me like right about in in this area right in here so i'm going to chalk that in there and that's going to be our little resistance to break and that was yesterday's pivot point that's kind of how I'm looking at this chart right now on Snap. So here we go. Strong buy at 44.64. Then we've got the pivot point area, the resistance that we've got to break at 46 to a hard resistance in this channel up in here between 46.49 and 47.21. And that's on Snap. Let's see what else we got on the old brain. I'm just thinking stocks from uh, that have pulled back or maybe trades that I'm thinking of yesterday. I always want to look at the 20 day when I'm analyzing this for a fast little analyze. This here is FUV. Let's go uh, we got Nile, Tesla, Blink, Plug. Plug had a nice little breakout into after hours. I had a hard resistance at 2442 that we called. We got to raise these bars up. So I'm going to try to find me another. There's one right here and no support right here. So keep it, keep it safe. I want to bring this one here up to this resistance level right there and set that alert. And then I'm going to bring this one up to the second one right above it. Or let's bring it to this first one here. We're about there for a strong buy. So we're looking at these two different resistance levels that now have become supports. And this is the pivot point inside that channel. So if this thing pulls back to this first support, which it probably can do at 26.82, I might take the plug, plunge, and plug it in and raise it up here. Or if it pulls back, I've got these other two supports to rely on with a real strong buy right here, right around that 40. 2544 area. I want to raise this up 2550. There we go. Yep, that's pretty good right there. It's an even number. That way, you know, if she stops short, which it can do, that'll be a real strong buy at 2551. And there we go. Plug. So, yeah, that's a good looking little trade to look at. And there's another one that I want to check out. And that's. Miss Vegas was calling this out in the room yesterday, FTCH. She's hot on the trails. We had a 20-day double top. I'm going to erase this here. To, calling it down here when it was under 30 bucks. So here we are at 51. This looks like just something to look at for today. But we did have that double top right here. And I'm going to put that down for a support level. And maybe no lower than that with a pivot point in this channel. And I'm just going to be watching this because I don't really watch Fitch that much, FTCH. But I'm adding it to my watch list for maybe a possible trade. And let's look at the yearly. Just want to check it out. The 
it's a yearly all-time high so this is doing good the stocks are doing real well this is yesterday's chart there's a solid support right here at 5047 and then another one right down here so let's these are the two support levels I'm going to be watching today like I said I've just put this on my monitor now and I'll be watching it today for these pullbacks and I might get in the trade and run it back up to resistance levels low support just 49.26 with that first one right here at uh, 50.47 then you get this one right here I'm going to go ahead and draw that in that's how I'm going to look at FTCH and we're going to watch it PTLR's had a pretty good had a military contract I think uh, this one's been called out in the room Mr. Basket mentioned it I've been putting it on no watch list here we had a nice little run after hours this thing can pull back to support level right here at 2051 right around that area or maybe hold support right here right around the $20 that's where I want to hold it if not we could fall back to this lower channel and we got a little support we have an ascending triangle breakout right here you see where it comes up higher lows and then we kind of leveled out thinned out that's an ascending triangle we'll just run her on up here to the end here and then you got this thing here uh, I show these when we can see them and I'm running through these things right now you know I like to show these things off a little bit people get some kind of idea what a breakout stock would look like that's an ascending triangle and a lot of times this will pull back to the top of this here and create a support level so let's call this 2135 your first support and we're gonna look for a pivot point inside of this triangle which I think could be the second point and this is a lot of times when I'm looking at a support for a support level I'll go to the previous chart pattern and look for a triangle and that's going to be right or for a pivot point in that triangle and let's change this up here we kind of got our pin pointed and it's going to be right in here I'm looking at an equilibrium in that channel we're going to go ahead and make this a red line make it pretty confident that we're solid about that pivot point And there's your, you're going to be your three support levels and then your third one down here at 2051 I want to hold first one 2135 then you got the pivot point in that channel and this is PLTR at 2095 and then that first one third one down here at 2051 we want to hold and then you've got another ascending triangle right down here this is like you call a double see so you get the higher lows and then you could go ahead and reassess re it after if it does pull back that 2014 20 dollar area I, don't know, I would really consider t scalping it back up to resistance level for a buck back up to this red line but that's just three or four different what two couple different ways of looking at the trade or it could just continue and break on out but i'm looking at maybe for a pullback to support level and if it drops and fails it can pull back and hit these and still be bullish on the stock pltr and let's look at another couple here. Apple. Apple's having a little bit of drama here lately. We want to look at possible buys. Also, we'll use possible sales and also the marijuana sector. We'll look at a couple of them. So here's <clears throat> Apple. We have that low support right here at 114.02 that we hit. It was a little red line support. We did stabilize on it and it might retrace up. How do we come up with this 114.02? I need to ask myself let's go to the 20 day see if it tells me a story look at here we had a bottom right here it bounced once ran up to resistance now I want to be safe about this and I want to play like a maybe a 50% retracement off this break so let's go up here to the Fibonacci's maybe and uh, let's find um, this one right here we'll take this and run it right down to this bottom right here so if if I want to be logical about the trade I'd look for a pivot point 
in this new channel and you could tell that 50 percent retracement off this breakout landed right here which makes it a pretty solid little spot so i'm going to go in here with my little trend line i kind of like would have said that anyway that spot right in there i want to magnify this up a little bit and i'm going to fine tune it to right there now i want to make that a red line if i can here yeah we'll fatten that up a little bit so it's going to be like my little hard resistance to get to it's going to be an exit spot if i want to take the trade i want a resistance to break at 11940 that's apple and that's about a 50 percent retracement in that channel and i agree with it because it did pull back and it's a pivot point area in the channel and you got a little space in between there from right up in here and that's where i'm going to draw my other line and that's going to be my little uh i would say a resistance level to break pivot point in the channel i want to color that in I know it's looking a little floggy, but when it comes in the morning, now I'm going to raise this up to one minute. I know that this is going to be my little resistance level to break. Okay, and I've got that first one right here at 20, about 20, right here at 115.57. And that next one could be right up in here. I'll raise the bar up maybe to right about the 116 level for the next one resistance on apple we did hit a double bottom and you can tell in that 20-day chart what i'm talking about when we hit right in here bam and we pulled back right here now see i just kind of want to make that clear so that can bounce about 50 percent back up let's see if our target to hit 1740 and if we can break past that and get in this channel and bust past that wrap 118 will clearly get into the uh the third resistance stage and that's where you want to start thinking about profit i do see a nice little spot right in here that would be a good little exit point in that pivot point in that channel and we're going to draw that up right here see where we've failed many times and we have pulled back many times see we failed pulled back right there so that's solid at 119.17 that's how I'm looking at the trade. A double bottom to resistance about 117.40 with into the resistance channel, and you got to break that 119.17 area. Apple. And let's think about a couple more and call it quits here because this is getting kind of well. Let's call it quits now. There's many to look at, so if you follow us on uh, Stock Twits Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter, and we're posting alerts in here quite often. And also on our website, we do have links to our stock twits. Hit that follow button. Hit that like button. Miss Vegas, she's one of the best tape readers in the country. Or at least that I've been around. I can't say in the country, but, you know, uh, people that I've been around. And you can hit that little like button right there. And we wish everybody a great trading week. This is the pre-market watch list. I love stocks.